This is kind of hard to understand, but sometimes you can try so hard at something. Sometimes you can be so, so prepared and still fail. And with every time you fail, it's painful. It causes sadness. Understand, my friend, is that you're supposed to fail. You're supposed to fail because failure is the stepping stone to success. It's not just cliche because failure is an experience that lends to wisdom that ultimately makes you a stronger version of yourself. Self-love, rebuilding self, seeing to it that you spend enough personal and alone time to seek higher levels of self. What is the next level of you? Remember, whenever one door closes, there is another door waiting for you. Don't second guess yourself and don't be so afraid of failing that you create excuses instead of producing results. Every day, you have another opportunity to be and do what you were meant to do on this earth. This decision you're making right now will determine your outcome of your tomorrow. We don't have control over yesterday, but this decision that you're making right now will push you, will purge you, will drive you to have that fire down inside. There has never been a point any time, there never will be, where everything is perfect, okay? No such thing, because life is a possibility. Because it's a possibility, it cannot be perfect. Doesn't matter what we do, there's still something more to do. The possibilities when you do this, although unknown, are endless. But one thing is for certain, if you don't push yourself, nothing in your life will change. If you want a thing bad enough to go out and fight for it, to work day and night for it, to give up your time, your peace, and your sleep for it. If all that you dream and scheme is about it, and life seems useless and worthless without it, and if you gladly sweat for it and fret for it and plan for it, and lose all your terror of the opposition for it. Human being, you got unlimited potential. You can put effort on you, and by concentrating on you and developing you, you can transform your life wherever you are right now. There has to be something so deep in you that drives you. So what, what really does it for me is I know what we're capable of. And I know that most human beings aren't willing to go where I am. And that's a very, very dangerous thing. I'm not saying I'm better than anybody else. Everybody has this talent. It's not a talent. It's just realizing that we stop way short of our true potential. So through my life, I realize these things. And I know what gives me fuel is I know that most people who are blessed with so much talent, great parents, great upbringing, didn't come from where I come from. They're going to quit before me. Having all the tools that they have, they didn't have the ability to examine themselves. When you have everything so nice in life, it's, it's great to have a great life. But what happens is you don't self-examine. You don't do a live autopsy. When you have a f***ed up life, it almost forces you to do a live autopsy. It forces you to find strength from places that no one looks from. Because food is not at the ready. You know, you're me, I have a learning disability. It's not at the ready. I can't just pick up a book and start reading. Right, right. There's, there's preparation behind everything I do. There's, there's, everything I do has to come with so much preparation. It's despicable, it makes me sick. My own personal life makes me sick. That's why I'm so disciplined now. Without my self-discipline, there is no David God. Like, I can't, like, stop reading. I won't be able to read tomorrow. It will, I will lose it that fast. You know, I, you know, I cannot stop going to the gym. My mind is set up in a spot where, hey, the second I stop, it wants to stop. Because I had a quitting mind growing up. When you get beat the shit out of you all the time, your mind wants to go to that nice spot where you're comforted where you're not trying, where shit is easy. That's where your mind, it doesn't want to think. 
You have all these things in the mind, and, and the mind can only absorb so much. So all the pain that has to go through, it doesn't, it wants to push it away, so it does not do that. So every day I'm fighting where the mind wants to go. So it's a, it's a, it's a constant, it's a constant evolution, man. There isn't a better way to live your life. There's no right way and wrong way. There is only the way that gives you more energy. There is only the way that gives you fulfillment. When you have those things, when you're fulfilled by what you're doing and it's giving you the harder you pursue it, it's giving you more energy, you're on the right path. As the Greeks would say, say the segolo dromo. I can't believe I messed that up. Segolo dromo, which means you're on a good road. And that's what I want people to understand. Like, yes, I preach, a, or I preach a very specific path, but I don't think that it is a universal path. And so the only universal path is to do the things that give you fulfillment and energy. So if spending time with your friends gives you that, then you should be spending more time with your friends. If dating gives you that, then you should be dating. So you don't need to want to be the best in the world at something. You don't need to want to make a lot of money. You don't need to want to be an entrepreneur. Like all, they're literally just stand-ins. They're proxies for fulfillment and energy creation. That's it. Many people have had difficult experiences growing up. They have fallen onto hard times and become associated with the wrong people. They have behaved in ways that were illegal or socially unacceptable. Sometimes they have even been convicted and sent to prison for their crimes. But at a certain point in life, they decided to change. They thought seriously about the kind of person that they wanted to be known as and thought of in the future. They decided to change their lives by changing the values that they live by. By making these decisions and sticking to them, they change their lives. And what others have done, you can do as well. Remember, it doesn't matter where you're coming from. All that really matters is where you're going. If you were an outstanding person in every respect, how would you behave toward others? What sort of impression would you leave on others after you had met them and spoken with them? Imagine you could be a completely excellent person how would you be different from today? The moment that you begin walking, talking, and behaving in ways that are consistent with your highest ideals, your self-image improves, your self-esteem improves, your self-esteem increases, and you feel happier about yourself and your world. For example, whenever you are complimented or praised by another person, or given a prize or an award for accomplishment, your self-esteem goes up, sometimes dramatically. You feel happy about yourself. You feel that your whole life is in harmony and that you are living congruent with your highest ideal. You feel successful and valuable. Your aim should be to deliberately and systematically create the circumstances that raise yourself, a team in everything you do. You should live your life as if you were already the outstanding person that you intend to be sometime in the future. Decide today to be a man or woman of honor. Resolve to tell the truth and to live in truth with yourself and others. Crystallize your values in each area of your life. Write them down. Think of how you would behave if you were living consistent with those values and then refused to compromise them for any reason. Once you accept complete responsibility for your life and for everything that happens to you and then create an ideal picture of your perfect future and clarify your values, you are now ready to begin setting clear, specific goals in every area of your life. You are now on the launching ramp and ready to take off toward the stars. You have to work on yourself. You have to have an unstoppable attitude and no excuse is acceptable. And you've got to, to make it a, a, a priority, a non-negotiable in your life and hold a, a constant vision of what it is you want to achieve. See it accomplished and go all out. Find a way to win. In spite of the setbacks, in spite of the disappointments, in spite of your failures, I, I tell people when I'm giving presentations, you will fail your way to success. I have a saying is life knocks you down, try and land on your back because if you can look up, you can get up. <laughs> and so those experiences of, of going after goals that's beyond your comfort zone and having relationships that will challenge you. And, and so those experiences, they challenge you to go to that next level and continue to move forward in your life, doing new and exciting things that eye has not seen, ear has not heard, 
know is in the heart of mankind what God has in store for you when you live a hard-centered life, deciding that you're going to live a life that will outlive you. You're going to live a life that counts, a life that will build a legacy and change the planet. You know, Horace Mann said, we should be ashamed to die until we've made some major contribution.